Welcome back. You're watching Today in the Bay. And turning to our climate in crisis, scientists are finding that snow in some parts of the Sierra is melting faster than ever, and warming temperatures are not the cause. In a study by the Desert Research Institute in Reno, scientists analyzed data from past seasons, most recently the 2021-22 season, when they had the Caldor fire in South Lake Tahoe. They found that during midwinter dry spells, burn scar areas in the Sierra had significantly higher snow melt. During these dry periods in the middle of winter, we found that you could lose through melt close to half of that snowpack, if not even more in some of the lower elevation places, but in places up higher in the mountains where we don't expect a big change to take place, if, even if it's dry, after the fires pass through, that caused snow to melt much faster in those higher elevation areas. And the impacts of wildfire on snow melt include more sun exposure due to loss of forest canopy and the reduction in the snow's ability to reflect sunlight known as albedo. And in the winter, uh, immediately following a fire, snow is dusted with black carbon from burnt vegetation, which can accelerate snow melt rates. And scientists say while extreme weather may be our new normal, we do have the ability to adapt, manage and mitigate the impacts. How do we deal with fire is actually through the addition of more fire. We need good fire, low severity, prescribed fire or cultural fires to restore balance into these systems that have had good fire taken away from it for hundreds of years at this point. And for more on this study and our climate and crisis series, visit our website, NBCBayArea.com.